All of us sons of Adam sin. And the best of sinners are the repenters. So what is repentance and how do we do it? Repentance in Arabic is known as Tawbah. And it is turning from disobedience towards obedience. Repenting from your sins is very important. It's an, it's an obligation. And every believer has to rush to it and hold himself accountable at all times. Now the scholars mention some conditions for, for, for repenting. But before we start with them, we need to be clear on a couple of things. The first thing we need to be clear about is that you are responsible for your own sins. You are responsible for your own sins. Yes, it's pretty obvious. It's a very simple, clear statement. But the problem is, so many people have been led astray by this. Nobody is responsible or accountable for other people's sins. Nobody has died for your sins. It's very clear in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى And no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ مَرْجِعُكُمْ Then, to your Lord is your return. After that, your, to your Lord is your return and you will be accountable to what have you committed, what have you sinned. Nobody is responsible for other people's sins. The second thing you need to be aware of is that repenting from your sins is not only about supplicating, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, seek Allah's forgiveness. Yes, supplication is an essential part. But you also have to do the means and you have to have the reasons to attain Allah's forgiveness. So you have to take practical steps. You have to rectify yourself so that you can attain Allah's forgiveness. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, you want to repent. Where do you start? The scholars mention five different conditions for repenting. The first condition is sincerity. So you need to be sincere in your repentance. This is a condition in every worship. And repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is a worship. So you have to be sincere in it. You are repenting truly for Allah's cause, not for any worldly matters, not for anything uh, for the, in this life. You are repenting because you fear Allah and you are repenting for Allah alone. The second condition of repentance is regretting. Regretting and feeling ashamed of what has happened with, with, uh, with sorrow for committing this sin, yani for leaving what's uh, an obligation or committing what was forbidden. This is the second condition. The third condition of repentance is abandoning the sin. So leaving the sin. And if the sin involved uh, not fulfilling an obligation, like for example not paying the zakat, then the zakat has to be paid to the poor. And from that also is returning rights to their owners. For example, someone stole some money and um, he wants to repent. From the conditions of repentance is to return the money to its rightful owner. The fourth condition of repenting is to have a determination that you will never return to the sin. This is a must. So if you repent and in your heart you intend to return to the sin again, then you are not a repenter. So determination to not return to the sin is a must. Then after that, after your firm determination, if you slip and you commit the sin again, 
this does not invalidate your previous repentance. But now you need to do something. You need to repent from the new sin. This is a very important difference to be noticed. You need to repent from your new sins. The fifth and final condition of repentance is that the repentance need to be done in the time of acceptance. The time where repentance is accepted. So, for example, when the sun rises from the west, like the day is judgment, of judgment is coming, or, for example, when the soul reaches the throat at the final stages of death, that time repentance is not accepted. And a soul will not benefit from its iman has it not believed before. No good will it do to a person to believe now if he had not believed before. Allahu al-musta'an. These are the five conditions that must be met in order for the repentance to be accepted. First one is sincerity, regret, abandoning the sin, determination that you will never return to this, back to the sin. And the fifth and final one that the sin and the regret, regretting the sin needs to be done at the time of acceptance. Repentance, servants of Allah, is not a complicated thing. If you are true to yourself and if you are true to your Lord, you don't have to go to a priest and confess. You don't have to go to a shrine or supplicate to a dead uh, saint or dead pious person. Your relationship is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And your supplication is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِي قُلْ يَا عِبَادِي Say, O oh my slaves, الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Who have transgressed against themselves. لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Despair not of the mercy of Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Verily Allah forgives all sins. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Truly, He is oft forgiving, most merciful. These are the five conditions of repentance. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ